Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, my name is Kordamt and we are back for some more Pills of Eternity with the Triple Crown difficulty settings. Of course. So, like discussed at the end of the previous episode, I'm actually going to be taking a break from questing throughout the world to go and clear out a little bit of the Cadnu um, lower levels. This will both advance us in the quest for the Master Below, and these levels are actually called the Endless Levels of Cadnua, I believe. Let me just check here. The Master Below... Concerted the Labyrinth Dungeon underneath Cadnua, now known as the Endless Paths of Odnua. Ah, of Odnua, sorry, not Cadnua. And there's actually a lot to explore, and we have only cleared out the first level, if I remember correctly. Let me see. We killed the Spider Queen here, which was the like the boss of this level. Uh, this is not a way through, and this just sent us. Oh, <gasps> a pet! Lovely. I want a pet, a tiny spooder. Yeah, we've been here. I think we read about this hand, and now we are going this way. Yes. I think this is the way to go down. Now, these endless parts of Odnua, they uh, get increasingly difficult as you Here progress through the levels. To think we are so close. Beneath our very feet lie the endless paths built by Odnua, the great Anguithan king. Well, up here this is all Adirin, of course. But should we descend far enough, we will find some real history. And it's also part of Kana's companion quest. To uncover that great king's tomb would be a dream. But it is one of his servants I am after. Gabranos, a powerful mage and a dedicated scholar. A keeper of lore, just as I mean to be. He was in possession of the Tanvi Oratoa, or whatever form of it preceded the one we know. I've seen it in ruins, alongside Gabranos' name. Scraps of the same symbols and verses we know in Rawatai. He must have held the words in high regard. Or perhaps he was even the author. Why does this book matter so much? Oh, no voice. <laughs> Rawatai faces troubled times. Once we were a unified people, but that's changing. And the Tanvi Oratoa is at the heart of that. There are those who say that we haven't held to its instruction, that we have allowed ourselves to grow weak and polluted our traditions by welcoming foreigners, rather than laying claim to the lands around us, that we must hold to those traditions if we are to make of ourselves a nation to be feared. My brothers would have it so, but we don't need to isolate ourselves to make Rawatai great. I know there's more to the chant. It wasn't created out of sand and water a thousand years ago, but brought to Rawatai by the Ingwithans by a people that knew the value of alliances and shared their knowledge with us. And with that knowledge, we made Rawatai what it is today. If I can find the original, I can prove it. They'll know that the chant is far older than we believed, that the Ingwithian, the Ingwithans favored peace and the trade of knowledge. If we follow in their footsteps, we can make a kingdom just as grand and lasting as theirs. So he doesn't actually want bloodshed and, you know, general chaos. He, pr he prefers trade and peace, which I can relate to. Mm -mm -mm. Averting conflict is a noble commission. I mean, yeah, in some ways, but in, in the way he's mentioning it, I do believe it's noble. And the lofty one I know kind of grins. I'm glad you feel the same. I feel it's the better course for Rawatai. We're a people of many races and we've always stood together. I feel we are destined for greatness. Well, let us start looking then. If my sources are correct, Gabranos will have brought the text with him. It will probably be within a library. Or a tomb, perhaps. It tends to be one of the two. <laughs> it does tend to be one of the let's two. Let's be off. Ah, let's go. Nice and quiet. Okay, I was gonna say... I want to check for secrets, and it immediately paid off. Okay, I'm not sure if I want this ring. I mean, I want it, but I'm not sure if I have any use for it. Deflection 9, Deflection 5. 
Hmm. Plus 5 to will. This does not stack, so he just has damage versus spirit and vessel. I don't think I care about this. <clears throat> this can go for me. Yes. And you can have the axe of deflection. Yes, 46, okay. Very good, very good, my friends. Let's carry on. We're gonna go down, I believe, into level 2. Not sure if it says so on the map. Oh, Zorips. Yeah, level 2, okay. So, the same process as usual is gonna play out here. Uh, although there isn't much of a choke point, I'm just gonna send it there in the front and everybody else is gonna remain hidden. And then we're just gonna jump on them when they start... All right, then. When they start clumping up around it there. Okay, can I can I pull this guy right now? Yes, I can. Eh, kind, I think it failed. <laughs> let's increase our defenses and let's start working on this priest. This guy does some fire damage, but I don't think that's going to be much of a concern, honestly. Uh, let's go for the usual painful interdiction. Uh, it there, you can fight. He has vigorous defense, so I expect him to last a little bit here. And Aloth is going to start booking the area with the priests. And I think I want Kana to start go Ooh, nice shot. I think I want Kana to start going into the front, because this is a lot of enemies here. I don't want him to start coming into my backline. Okay, there we go. Did you shoot, uh, lady, or did you not? Shoot this guy, shoot this guy. We can get some extra accuracy here. I actually want the books in a different position now, like over here. Yeah, she, she, she just blew him up. <laughs> Let's work with this. I don't need any heavy hitting spells here. And I will try to blind the drake. There's another guy over there. Interesting. Okay, you guys can just shoot. Okay, he's stunned and blinded. Let's all work on this guy. Oh, you stunned it there. These skirmishers, man, and their paralyzations. Ah. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> Let's go for this one. You also. Well, I guess we can just blow this guy up. Why not? Yes. Stop paralyzing it there. You utter... What is this? Oh, a light. Okay. Um, kill that one, but you go for that one. That's actually an archer. Interesting. Pew! There we go. So yeah, naturally this isn't a very tough fight because we have some... Some good levels on us, and we have some decent gear. But if you try to come in here right after reaching Cad Nua, you're probably gonna have a bad time. Hello, Mr. Drake. Hello, Mr. Zorip. I don't want to fight this with a trap here. Yeah, so let's just go. Following your lead. And now that we have a little bit more of a choke point over here, I think we can just... Leave Kana in the back, and you come over here. Okay, let's nuke this guy. Wonderful pull. And a wonderful death. Margarine's fire casts light in okay. dark. So there is a Zorip, we know this. Let's blow him up. There we go. Yeah, so one-on-one, -on -one, these are not going to be any... Of course. Any trouble. Blade in the dark. Blade in the dark. But the interesting part about exploring these levels, well, for f uh, for one, it's fun. Uh, you have the quest for the master below, but that's for much later. But you also get some interesting loot. You get some gold. You got some really nice, cool, some nice things here, which makes it, in my opinion, worth exploring. Okay, so this choke point I don't like, because there's a lot of room over here for them to shoot us from this region. And our people would all have to be clumped up here. So I'm actually going to try and make them kind of round off it there in this area. 
And this way they all clump up here and we all have this idiot fight. So let's back up a little bit. Of course. No need for too much. And I'm gonna pull one. Ooh, there's a lot of people here. And then just move to the back. Actually, I think you can just spot me and start coming and I'll just move. Whee! Okay. There's a, <laughs> a lot of speed over there. I am gonna place a chill fog over here. And everybody else is just gonna wait for now. Yes. And okay. as soon as it starts streaming in, we're gonna blow them up. I actually think I need Kana probably in the front line because they're gonna start coming around. Okay, so I want a painful interdiction. I want a chill fog. You can blow this guy up. Following your lead. You oh god, are you stuck? This guy got blown up. Kill. Chill fog just went out. Right? Yes. So I don't want to move my party any more to the front than this. Maybe maybe a there can handle this by himself, honestly. He's stuck. Okay. They are surrounding him in this particular area. That's okay. I'm just gonna wait to see what happens here. Yeah. Okay, they're they're starting to, to start. Uh, they are starting to move in. Sorry. <laughs> I think I'm gonna have a gigantic silent scream around here somewhere. Hmm. This could be interesting. Yes. Go for that one. And you shoot that one. And. I believe I might just get some damage reduction here. Yes. You get the vigorous defense. Which is fine. They're gonna be taking a lot of damage from this, they're gonna get blinded, so we are in a very good position right now. Throw some books, and then shoot this guy. Okay, that one's dead. Shoot. I think this was... Yeah, this was the Grieving Mother blowing him up, I believe. Yeah, they're all casting some, some weird stuff over here. If I could get it there to start shooting in this direction, it would be awesome. Oh, hey there. I did not want to do that. But, okay. Okay, more books. We are still fine, although Kana is paralyzed and knocked down. I'm gonna blind this guy. You are just gonna shoot people. Okay. Let's get some accuracy here. Okay, we are fine. I'm actually gonna use one of my charges here from my item. And just... Nah, it's fine. Okay, a nice... Shot on that guy, near death, injured. Let's paralyze him. And as we can see, it there is just tanking everything. I don't need to worry about his HP, honestly. Blam, let's back up, make them come to us. How can you see me from there? You guys can see... Oh. Okay... Let's fight. Okay, you shoot over here. Uh, you can actually try and... Oh, I forgot this. You can try and paralyze everybody. Oh, oh, why didn't you... Do what I told you, please. Sacre bleu! Sacre bleu. Yeah, sacre bleu! Wait, what, 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 what? They were going around! <laughs> okay. Let's... Silent scream this guy. Okay, good damage. He's stunned for a long time. Lovely. So yeah, a lot of Zorips, they don't do much damage, but they can be annoying because they paralyze you. There's a lot of them. 
So it's easy to die here if you are lower level. It's finished. Okay. A bunch of ooh. Ah, survival. I thought it was like a rest scroll. A lot of traps as well. It's finished. A broken blade. Oh, new task. The blade of the endless pots. There's some of these things that I don't remember, which is also cool. <laughs> it acts like a new discovery for me. A great and ancient weapon has been dismantled, its pieces thrown throughout the endless parts of Odnua. Perhaps if all these pieces can be found again, the weapon can be reforged. While exploring the endless parts, I have discovered what appears to be a piece of an ancient sword. Perhaps I can find more such pieces elsewhere in the ruins. I have found part of a shattered blade, it isn't much used like this, but perhaps it can be reforged if I can find the rest of it. Okay. So... One cool item pickup already. And nothing else in this area, it seems. Okay. So now we're gonna go up. They won't see me coming. Eder kinda <clears throat> they kinda whittle Eder's health down bit by bit, but it's fine. We can just rest afterwards and continue on. <laughs> No, 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 back up, back up, back up. Uh, hello. Nope. No, 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 my friend. I suspect this area to be trapped, honestly. Oh, no, okay. A lockpick is always welcome. Gold rod chew, and... Oh, it's not a, a corpse. This Zorip is lying in a corner of the chamber. Its ribs show starkly beneath its scaly hide, and its breathing is labored, each whistling breath causing obvious discomfort. It doesn't seem to be reacting to your presence. Examine the Zorip. You look the sick creature over and notice that its skin shows some discoloration, with ugly patches of yellow and livid purple. You note that these seem to coincide with the placement of the ritualistic paint that, was, that has been daubed onto the creature. <clears throat> yeah, so the, the creature is in suffering. I don't like them to be in suffering even if they are, you know, trying to attack me. So let's just cut his throat. The Zorib barely makes a sound. There is a muted, wet gurgle and then the creature lies still, blood pooling beneath the withered body. Soon enough, its eyes are glassy, empty of life. Did what you had to. You work on a farm long enough, you come to understand it, even if it's never easy. I completely agree. Although, I don't think I would be able to, Keep an eye on. you know, me, myself, and <laughs> not the rogue over here. But in real life, I don't think I would be able to kill an animal. I, I like them too much. Okay, so we have some enemies over here. I don't want to fight them here. So, the usual Stratigo calls on us to, Leave it to me. do a choke point. There's a bunch of enemies. Okay. We're fine. Let me see. Skirmisher. So let's blow up the skirmisher because the skirmisher does paralyze. And Kana can hold the fort here. Depending on how many enemies come in, I might consider throwing out a... A chill fog. For now, I think we're just fine. Uh, let's see... I think this is actually most of them. So let's go for a Silent Scream on the champion, which has the most damage reduction. And since this deals raw damage, it will go through that, which is good. Uh, you are just going to book this area. And then just start shooting. Uh, we're going to get our usual painful interdiction, followed by a Holy Radiance. And you can focus on the skirmisher. Yes. Okay, that's that. That's a lot of stuff over there. Jesus Christ. Okay, shoot there. The champion is almost dead. It's this little bitch paralyzed Kana. Uh, go work on the priest. We will handle this guy, and then we'll deal with the backline. Yeah, because Kana does take significantly more damage than the rest of my party. Er, than the there, sorry. Okay, you're actually gonna use a second wind. 
You are gonna move forward. We are gonna start moving forward as well. And I'm just thinking what I wanna do here. They are all ranged, so this would be a massive hit. Or I can also just cast Slicken. Yes, indeed. Eh, let's see. I'm gonna cast Chill Fog. It's gonna hit a lot of people, so I'm gonna be happy with this, regardless. Uh, you can actually swap for your gun, I think. And start shooting. So much for you. Okay, this blindness is very important. You can stay over there. Okay. Let's start killing. They are still going for Kana, Jesus. Okay. New plan. Move forward. And paralyze them. You guys shoot over there. Lovely. <laughs> Blam. Yeah, Kana's taking way too much damage. Go back. Uh, can you pull this guy? Not really. I, I guess I pulled him into the fog. Which is good. So much for you. Okay, well. We took some more damage than I was expecting there. But we are okay. This is also because I'm trying to conserve our our spells here. I could use more powerful spells and make sure we didn't take so much damage. And honestly, it might have even paid off. Ooh. Curled against the inside of this broken shell is a tiny white shape. Only when a tiny toothed maw opens to let out a frightened squeak, it is, uh, is it clear that this is a small worm, recently hatched. Pick it up. You know what we got? Hey, we got a new pet. Tiny white worm. This worm appears to have been the runt of the litter, for it is much smaller than its fellows. For all that, its scales are a beautiful gleaming white, and it seems to be fond of you. Hey! <laughs> Important pickups. There you go. And what does the flame reveal? These cracked eggshells are leathery but brittle. Most of them had been trampled into a fine dust stamped with tiny clawed footprints. I see something. There's a Zorip champion over there. He does seem to be alone and patrolling. Yes, he is. He's gonna spot me though. Well, he actually didn't. Still. Let's blow him up. And this targets Fortitude, sadly. I think we are still more than fine. Yeah, okay. A single champion doesn't take too long. Um, what's over here? A fine club and camping supplies. The camping supplies, I might actually use them soon. We have another way down, I believe. Yes. And we have some more Zorips here. Okay, this is actually a, a decent pack size. So I might use some, some nice spells here and then just rest to, you know, replenish our things. Uh, okay, so I, I'm gonna want Kana for the start of this fight in the back. I want it there over here. And you over there and you what over is there. It? Okay. So there, let's let's pull the enemies, please. Here they come. So we are going to start with a chill fog in this area. I want you and you to work on the skirmisher. You can also start shooting. You can also start shooting, honestly. And you are gonna wait. Okay, let's get a vigorous defense to try and prevent getting um, paralyzed at the start. Okay, now I'm gonna want the painful interdiction as usual, followed by some extra accuracy. You are going to. It it still feels like a waste, but. <laughs> I, I won't use them just yet. I won't. Uh, we're gonna work on this Zorip. And you are gonna cast a Silent Scream on the champion. Yes. For how much will it hit? 68? Nice. 
Stunned for 16 seconds. This is what I like to see. So much. Okay. Now we can just pull back, make them walk through the chill fog. So we also don't have to fight on the chill fog. Okay, stunned. You are more than dead, my friend. And done. I was expecting more, honestly. I saw this pack, I, I thought another pack was there. Uh, pick it up. And what does the flame reveal? I haven't been here. I see. Ooh. Mm. My friends. Do you realize what just freaking happened? We nearly lost the run right there. Oh my god, dude. I saw the trap, but I, I don't know if I didn't pause in time or if the game auto-paused and I unpaused by reflex. Oh my dear lord. Be oh my god, man. Because this dealt so much damage, it nearly killed us. Like, our HP went down, our actual health, not just endurance. Keeping an eye out. Okay, dude. Well, we're gonna make use of those supplies after all. Holy crap, I got scared, man. Ferriman's Curse. This rolled up piece of parchment is covered in smeared charcoal scrolls. Let me get it down in writing. I knew this was a shit plan from the start. Merrick, gleeful as a toddler, convinced we were going to talk the Zorips into helping us fill our pockets. Help others right into our... Uh, into a great big pit, more like. And now, you've all run off like hares. Meanwhile, here's me, up to my armpits in bones and Zorip shit. I hope you all rot down here. I hope Merrick trips right off of the edge of the world, and Drafton loses what's left of his wits and guts the rest of you. Five of us left, and you run. Curse each and every one of you. And curse me, too, for dying here on account of a bunch of mewling pisspots. Here's for when one of you rotten lizard bastards learns some Adiran. I hope you all fucking choke. <laughs> well, we nearly did. This is no joke. This is no joke. I, I could have just lost the run right there. Oh my god. 39 hit okay. points. Pfft. Yeah, yeah. Be very, very cautious about traps. <laughs> like, really, really cautious about traps. Jesus, man. Okay, well, first of all, these little bitches are wilders, I think. Uh, Zorip. A Zorip is a wilder, yes. So we will rest, and we are going to get damage reduction on it there, yes. But here we will take Accuracy versus Wilder. You are going to get damage reduction as well. Wilder, Wilder, and Wilder. Okay, this is what I want. Ooh, a vision. Oh, maybe not. A wanted criminal by the name of Nairi, the, the Deft Hand, has arrived at the Stronghold. Seeking aid in fleeing the Deadwood. Okay, I'll, I'll get to you in a bit, my friend. Okay, we have some more champions over here and some Zorib skirmishers, the usual stuff. Okay, there's more to clear. So, as always, hey there, come over here. He's getting spotted already. So Kana can also come over here. And once he starts coming in... We're gonna start killing. I don't care about the champ the champions for the start. I wanna kill the skirmishers first if possible. Okay. Let's try uh, let's actually bolster our defenses. You should be using your shield. I nearly forgot, Jesus Christ. Um hold your ground. And yeah, I don't wanna take all this damage if if I can avoid it, so just chill fog. And Everybody else to the usual routine. You are gonna blast a skirmish in the face. Oh, I just cancelled my chill fog. So chill fog over here. 
And you are going to blind this skirmisher. You can fight, you can fight, try to knock them down. Okay, chill fog just went out. Our lady friend here has gotten some really cool focus points. I'm gonna start using the, the AoE nuke. Just so I can hit as many enemies as possible. Okay. Chill fog is out. Books are in order. And then just shoot. They have already paralyzed uh, Mr. Kana, which I do not appreciate. I'm actually gonna throw out an iconic projection just so we can clear this out a little bit faster. And very nice hit from the grieving mother. Let's have another one. Yeah, okay, our AoE damage is working very, very nicely. You guys can actually back up. Okay, let's back up. Let's bring the, um, the drakes over here. So they are standing in the chill fog, which is much better for us, naturally. I want to paralyze... Uh, no, it's fine, just shoot. You go for this one. It's it's okay. Okay. So much Paralyze. Go there. Shoot this. Shoot that. Okay, they're both paralyzed. Don't stand in the chill fog. There's no need for that. Swap to this and just hit. Following your lead. So much for okay. you. Good. A single chill fog helps out so much. Okay, check for traps. Ooh, blood. Oil. A fine leather armor. There's a lot of blood, there's a couple of Zorips here. Yeah. I'm gonna try and see with it there what's what's going on here. Oh, I think I remember this. Zorip High Priest. Stepping into this chamber, you are assailed by a cacophony of screeches, growls and barks. Blood-spattered Zorips dance in frenetic leaping motions. To one side, a Zorip plunges his hands into a bucket teeming with blood to daub patterns onto others eager to join the rites. At the far end of the room, one Zorip, wearing the long skull of a young drake and vibrant feathers, shakes a staff towards the gathered Zorips, screeching and clicking. The high priest suddenly raises a staff above his head, shrieking with renewed vigor. He swings the staff downward to point it at the pit, and then at you. I'm not sure I like that suggestion. Yeah, you would not be wrong. So, <clears throat> we have a lot of Zorips in this region. I did not remember this is <laughs> this was how this fight's gonna play out. So, the 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 intelligent choice is to go over here to a, a closest choke point. Yeah, and I'm gonna try and be smart here. So let's just back up. Oh, the game just kind of stopped me there, which I don't appreciate. Uh, I also don't like that it there is faster than the other ones. Please move and hurry. Okay. I'm, I don't care about these engagement attacks over here. I just want to make it to this region. And we are good. Okay. With this... <laughs> I am going to use some of my cooldowns. I'm going to get Deleterious Alacrity of Motion. I'm going to get some focus points with the Grieving Mother. Aloth is also going to get Deleterious Alacrity of Motion. You are going to stand in the back and start shooting people and also give us the, the buff for the attack speed. I'm going to wait with Durance. Or actually, do I need to wait with Durance? I can just cast a Circle of Protection here. It doesn't last too long though, so I think I'm going to wait a bit, yes. And you start shooting. Oh my god, you just got paralyzed. Wonderful. Okay. So a nice blast. You have the LTD Celacrity of Motion, you do as well. So let's move into the area. We're gonna cast a Chill Fog over here. The Grieving Mother is going to try and knock everybody down in the area. 
Let's let's slow this down. I wanna have time to think here. We're gonna get a painful interdiction, followed by a holy radiance, and then we'll see. Okay, wonderful. We are shooting very quickly. A wonderful chill fog right there. Okay, and now we're gonna get some Calicot's Minor Blights, which are gonna AoE everything over here down. It's gonna be glorious, my friends. <laughs> you are gonna get a Vigorous Defense. You keep shooting. And I think that's all I need, honestly. I don't think I need anything else. Yeah, now we're gonna start seeing Aloth destroying people. Uh, right, Aloth? Let's see. So, shoot this guy. <laughs> yes. Yeah, those are very big nukes. And the chill fog by itself is killing people, so... You can see the, the power of this. Let's blind that guy. He's stunned, blinded. He's kind of everything. Let's back up. Where are you going, dude? Okay, they are now in the in the chill fog. Let's finish this guy off, and let's kill the drakes. Uh, let me see if I can pull this guy so he can take some of the AOE as well. Okay, cool. Follow it. Man, the the damage that Aloth does with the the minor blights is of course. is quite impressive. Let, let's okay. let's not lie here. Okay, well, Zorip boss down. Oh, and before I forget, I, I want to check out the item I got that nearly killed my entire party, or killed the run rather. So he picked up Hand and Key. Worn by Peferl, a paladin of the kind Wayfarers, this breastplate bears an elegant relief of two hands presenting a key. Peferl commissioned the armor to demonstrate his, de his dedication to the idea of opening paths and doors for those who might otherwise find the passage too dangerous. While his devotion to the Order dictated almost every facet of the man's life, Peferl was also a faithful adherent of the god Berath and the hand and key serves as a personal reminder that the final door he opened would bring him into the god's keeping. So let's see, DR10, this is a medium armor, 13 versus piercing, it has a really nice defense against uh, will attacks, basically, 25, 20 and 15, that's not bad at all, honestly. This gives me 12 DR, but yeah, but this is very important. Slash and Pierce, yeah. It's kind of tough to say no to. Okay, for now, you're gonna go in there. I could have also used summons, but I think just having the choke point and spells, it's, okay. it's more than enough. A lot of stuff. Man, there's gonna be a lot of clicking when I go to the vendor. <laughs> Blade in, the dark. in any case, and we are going to talk about this place a little bit. The blood spilled from this bucket seems to have eaten into the stone. The rope tied to the bucket looks long enough to descend to the pit. This bucket is filled with blood and gives off an acrid stench. You recognize it as Mokgus Tears, a powerful poison. I see something. Oh, you do. You actually do. Nice. Oh. I like new weapons. Measured restraint. Ah, yes, I like this. So, this one is giving us some pierce damage. It's kind of whatever. It also has extra accuracy, but it also has a plus one to enemies engaged. Now, it's not obvious what's best here. Uh, because the hatchet is giving us extra deflection, which is good for Kana. But having the ability to engage an extra enemy, I think, is going to be more important. Because the greatest weakness of Kana is that it doesn't really hold aggro from the enemies, while Adair does because he can engage more enemies. So I'm going to give you this. And you're going to have a very pretty rapier with you. Very nice. <laughs> very fancy. Cool. Nice pickup. Hey. 
And what I wanted to mention is that this is a place that uh, frustrates a lot of players. And I, I can totally understand why. Because what this place does is, if you descend into the pit... I mean, this is kind of a spoiler, but if you're watching this, I don't think you mind that. <laughs> uh, if you descend into the pit, you are actually going to skip uh, level 3 and level 4, I believe. And you get dropped down into level 5, right into the middle of a lot of enemies. And there's a particularly large and nasty fight there, that if people are coming here earlier in the game, you're just going to get stuck down there. And you can't really leave, you can't really fight, it's a tough position to be in. So beware of that. <laughs> Don't drop down the pit. And let's explore the lower level. Not sure how far we're going to go here, but at least the upper level is complete. And we get to see a little bit of this. Oh, though worn away by time, many of these alcoves are engraved with Adiran surnames. And this, I think, is just backer support. Yeah. Okay. Now, if I remember this right, I think... I think I hate I this level. Something. Because of the enemies that exist here. But I, I'm gonna have to deal with them sooner or later, so... <laughs> yeah, 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 I do hate this. Well, we do have the extra accuracy, which is good. Yes. There's a reason why I hate these enemies. N not not these in particular, but y you will understand soon enough. What is it? Okay, blinded and stunned. Awesome. Let's blast him. Okay. So, <clears throat> ogres, they do hit relatively hard, but normal ogres are not my concern at all. However, they do have some other friends, which are ogre shamans, and those are very, very concerning. Nice blast, let's try and kill them off with the sound scream. Good. A lot of stun time. I'm really liking the silent scream, honestly. It's it's been quite useful. Nothing special. I think this is for later. An impressive statue. How old do you think it is? Housed within a quiet alcove, this stone figure strides boldly forward, one arm held high. Inspect the statue. Judging by the style of clothing and the cracked remnants of a beard upon the statue, Duran suspects that this is the Earl of Yenwood, a lauded warrior. He was known to lead his men into battle, wielding a gleaming saber. Housed within a quiet alcove, this stone figure strides boldly forward... Okay. So yeah, this is actually for later. They and just as the game hinted... Much. You are going to need a saber, a special saber, in order to unlock something there. But we will come back here once we have it, don't worry. There's an ogre, there's another ogre. And this is when you have to start being careful. Because when there's more than one ogre, that, that might mean... That, that there are also ogre shamans. Hey. Doesn't seem to be one over there, but there might be one over here. Okay, no, it's... Ee, God. Seems to be fine. I'm gonna try and pull these guys before that one comes in. And I think we can just tank them around this region. Hey. Maybe I can avoid that one coming in. But like I said, I'm not particularly worried about um, normal ogres. Although, they do hit hard, like I mentioned. But we will just wait a bit. Get our vigorous defense. Focus fire on one guy. Vigorous defense there. 
Vigorous defense! Jesus Christ. This is why I wanted my vigorous defense, so you wouldn't get knocked down, you dummy. Any case, we got a lot of focus points from her. So I'm gonna go for a silent scream in the middle one, try to stun him and also deal raw damage to the others. We're gonna blind that guy and we're gonna start throwing off some books. And that's about it. What? Yeah, because you can see that the damage is not... It's not a free fight. It does hurt. Okay, kill that guy. You can shoot. You can shoot. And you can shoot. That's it. Okay, that's one down. Try and knock that guy down. Shoot over there. Okay, big damage. We got a lot more focus points. So the same thing over here. Let's try and knock this guy down if we can. So much good. Yep, there we go. Raw damage in 16 seconds done. And that's it. These ogres seem to be a unique breed. If we could only speak with them, I don't think hey. they're very friendly. Hello. I don't Hello? think they're very friendly at all. We're gonna wait for the guy that patrols. As you say. And that's the way I'm gonna engage him. Fly swarm around this decaying ogre head, roving over its dead eyes and slack jaw. Okay, let's see if I can just pull this one. Come here, friend. All right then. Okay, so vigorous defense. Everybody shoot. Blind. Painful. Followed by that thing. Okay, you have the protection. Knock him down. Mother, kill him. Good, good. Man, this guy was kind of stun locked there. All right then, which I appreciate. Some caragolan. This is like drugs. Okay. Some money. This wooden scaffolding has rotted away, crumbling under its own weight. Around it are signs of an excavation, evidently abandoned long ago. Oh, right, I think... Wait, where does this lead? Ah, right, okay. This is just a shortcut that you can use, so you don't have to go up the stairs all the time. You can just maneuver up to level 1 or even up to Kednua. It just makes things easier. For the exploration purposes, I mean. Okay, I want to try and see if I can find some extra stuff to show, or maybe a fight. And... This, this is it. This is my my most hated enemy, right there. This and, and similar friends, naturally. There's one ogre druid. Please don't spot me. Oh, thank God. Okay, so these ogre druids, and I, I guess I can just include it in this episode still. They cast something which is an insect plague, which is insanely right annoying hey. and does tremendous amounts of damage so I'm gonna see if I can bait him to use it on top of it there and not the rest of my party and let's see how this goes actually have a beer first yeah yes okay and shoot this guy. Okay. Let's back up over here. You guys back up over there. Okay, he's trying to cast something different. That's not the insect plague. I think they're smart. I think they wait until they have a couple more targets before they, they go for it. The good thing about ogres is that they are so large that they block themselves off. So this large choke point is actually blocked by a single ogre. Which is kind of funny. <laughs> so I'm gonna try and spread my people around. I want myself over there. I want her 
over here, Aloth over there, Durance over there, and I'm just gonna see what happens here. Okay, we have the vigorous defense. Try and knock down the druid. Naturally, there's more than one, which is what I don't like. Let's see if I can blow him up. Kana, you can also start shooting when you can. Okay, so Durance, let's go. There, there we go. You see? This. This is the, for me, the most dangerous spell in the game. The Insect Plague. It's aiming at Eder, which is amazing, because if it only hits Eder, everybody else is safe, and that's what we want. So, Painful Interdiction over there. Uh, you... What do I want to do? I think maybe a firewall to try and interrupt them. I wonder if this will work the way I want it or not. Well, let's try. <laughs> mm. Ooh, you are way too close for comfort. Okay, he's kind of stuck. But he is still aiming into there, which is good. And what do I want from Mr. A -Law, from Mr. Durance? I think I might just want the Pillar of Faith. And who am I gonna prone? Maybe just damage on my party. Okay, so you stay there. Let's try and blind this guy and start working on him. And you... What do you do? A miasma? Mm, no, just books. I don't like the fact that he cannot see over there, so just shoot, just shoot, yeah. Your thoughts must go. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. There goes, I believe, the insect plague. No, I guess not. He cast wood skin. Okay. Oh, no. Now this guy is casting insect plague on top of my rogue. Man, I have so little health for this. I don't like it at all. Let's see if I can knock him down. And you back up over there. And let's see if I can stun him before he actually gets off the Insect Plague. That would be the best result possible. Yeah, just shoot. Okay, Insect Plague will be coming in. Let's see if I can interrupt him with a stun from my... My bow. Okay, okay, good, 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 good. The bow stunned. He also took them, I think he grazed, I think she grazed. Grieving Mother grazed with a sound scream. That's why the stun isn't that long. Okay, still, I'll take it, I'm happy with it. You are gonna come over yeah. here because I wanna cast some spells, so please. And the spells I wanna cast... Well, actually, this didn't go off. Ah, because I was getting too close. Because the range is kind of weird on this. Well, let's put it here and see how it works. Okay, that's what I wanted. Good. They're gonna, they're gonna keep getting interrupted. Oh, you got a Moonwell. I think he's healing his friends. What a bitch. I am going to get... I'm going to save these focus points to stun this guy later. And Kana, you are going to move over here. And see if we can paralyze people once they get a little bit closer. Okay, so you're going to start working on that guy. You're going to start working on this guy. You on this guy. You on this guy. And... Okay, this would be a good position for this if it lands. Please land. Sacre bleu. Sacre bleu! Okay, we only got one, which sucks, but I'll take it. So much Good shot, 90 focus points. That's more than enough. Let me try, let me start working on this guy. We were able to avoid all of the um, stun for nine and a half seconds, wonderful. We were able to avoid all of the insect plagues, which is awesome. 
Recall Agony on this tough opponent to try and whittle him down. Keep shooting. But right now I feel very safe. Okay. She has done her thing. I'm also gonna get a soul ignition on the guy. As many dots as possible, my friends. Okay. Let's go for another paralyzation from Kana. Good. You work on him. Let's see if I can paralyze him as well. And you keep shooting. Ow. Ow, 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 ow. Are you paralyzed there? No, he's just taking a lot of damage. Okay, he's fine, we're all fine. Everything is fine. <laughs> there we go, much better. Okay. God damn these druids or shamans or whatever they are. Oh, that, that's the shot in Fate Boots activating, by the way. Okay. So yeah, I, I do have to say, these enemies, the druids especially, are very, very tough. And this was a fight where they were unable to get off an Insect Plague cast. Because if an Insect Plague lands on my entire party, I'm going to be spamming... Disability, suppress affliction, which doesn't last long, but this this will mitigate the damage we're taking from the insect okay. plague. Okay, so uh, will this end soon? Thank you. <laughs> so I think this was a good episode. We cleared out the entire level two of the endless parts of Ke of Odnua. We've uh, ventured into the level three which has my most hated enemies, which are the goddamn druids with their insect plagues. I've cleared out a little bit, I've shown off a bit of these enemies, and in the next episode my objective is simply to gonna be... is simply going to be continuing on. I'm gonna continue exploring level 3, I'm gonna see where this takes us, and I will just kinda have the feel for it in terms of... Um, how I feel that the difficulty is adjusted for our party as we start going down. If I start feeling a lot of resistance, that's what I'm going to stop and go back and continue some quests in the overworld, let's say. For now, this is going to be it, my friends. I hope you guys are enjoying our adventures in Pills of Eternity and right now exploring the, um, the dungeon crawling aspect of the endless parts of uh, Odnua. <laughs> If you have any questions or suggestions, you know what to do, leave a comment below. Um, if you like the content, consider subscribing, the videos are coming out every single day. And I hope to see you all in the next one. Until then, stay safe everyone.